Hey, how's it going, everybody? It's Justin. Back again for another Comic Call video, because I do one of those a week most of the time. Yeah! So that's what I do. But, here's the bag. Yay, bag full of good comics. And this is my haul for March 11th. Yes. And today is March 11th. That means I'm still a minute inside March 11th. So that means that I'm actually doing this video on New Comic Book Day for the first time in a while. So, yay, victory! Alright. I'm very happy about that. It happened in a while. Also, I just found this picture. Everybody, I'm going to try to put it in the video so everybody can see it. But if not, um, Google Brett Booth Spider Man 2099. And it looks like the picture that I'm looking at that I've got as my wallpaper everywhere now. Yeah, it, it looks like he did it. It looks like 2013, maybe. Maybe it was just a sketch he did, but it is awesome. It's uh, Miguel, Spider Man 2099, on a rooftop, just kind of hunched over in like an awesome Spider Man pose. So I will try to do something so you all can see that. And then, so I've got that over there. And then I've got Spider Man 2099 here. I'm going to do a Funko video, so here's a preview. If you know what other ones are part of this set, come on, will it get it without? Okay, so you can see it here. Almost dropped it. Almost dropped it. So yeah, I will do a video about. I got, I think like six Funkos to show. Kind of. So and they're all comic themed. So here's our comic shop news. And this has. Who did this? Ah, uh, it's J. Scott Campbell cover. Looks like Red Sonia, Vampirella, and I'm not sure who the other two ladies are. I don't even know what's on the back. Swords of Sorrow. Okay, I guess Swords of Sorrow. So maybe it's like, a, I don't know if it's a crossover thing and they're all going to be in it. I don't know. If you know, let me know, I guess. Alright, so let's just kind of get into the books that I got this week. A decent amount. Decent amount of books. Um, yes. So, here we go. In this awesome week of books. Because there's a lot. New Avengers! Issue 31. Two months till time runs out. So, figured it was a good time to stay uh, back on this book. See what's going on as Secret Wars comes to a head. And then we go into Battle World. So, good to see what's going on there. Put that over there. Alright, next is Justice League United, issue number 10. And I think this is finally, con yes, conclusion. Thank you. This is going to be the last issue with the Legion in there. Thank you. Glad that's over. Like the book, like the actual team that's in this book, like the writer, um, I hope Justice League United stays... Because I think the title's staying, right? Because it's not going away. They're adding another Justice League America book, but I think Justice League United is going to continue on after uh, Convergence. Or at least I hope so, anyway. So I like that book. Um, but I'm really, really ready for the Legion storyline to be over with. As I think everyone else is. Alright, next. All new X-Men. This is issue 37. So, we'll see what... Oh. This art, this book looks amazing. Wow. Let me show you something here. Let me find something to show you that's awesome. Um, because it all kind of looks awesome here. Hold on. Hold on. Don't leave me. I'm going to show you something. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. Maybe it's not going to be great. Maybe it's going to be great. Maybe it's not. I'm trying to get... Is that the blob? <gasps> it's the blob. Look. The blob. Does anybody remember the old arcade game? the blob and he was just like no the dot the blob that's what he used to say all the time Gene's got the guns the blob okay so I'm pumped for this book after looking at that art definitely one to be reading as they change it and Bendis has announced that if you're not familiar or not Brian Michael Bendis who writes X-Men has announced that he will be leaving the title soon um, so if you're not reading it, it, might be a good time to jump on to see what he's going to do right before he leaves. So I would, I would think that he's going to leave with some type of bang. Alright. Next is 
Spider-Man 2099, as I was just talking about, everywhere. Um, so, really enjoying this book. The Maestro, our future Hulk, is in here. So, we'll see what's going on there. I honestly don't... I think I'm missing issue 9, somehow. I could be wrong. Or maybe I'm missing 8. i got to go back and look, but if I am, I'll go get it. Next, issue number 2 of Spider-Gwen. Everybody loves Spider-Gwen, and I really enjoyed the first issue. There aren't many books that I say I don't enjoy on here because I drop them kind of quick if I don't like the book, and then I don't pick it up, so I don't tell you that I don't like it again. I don't know how you do it out there in comic land, everybody. All right, next, Captain Marvel, issue 13. Mm, I don't know what to say about this book. I like Captain Marvel. But yeah. So, alright, sweet. Next issue, she goes into the Black Vortex. That would be really cool to see what powers that Captain Marvel... I mean, it basically makes you stronger than what you are. So what... She would be pretty tough if she stares into the Black Vortex mirror. Alright, and here we go with Thor. Issue number six. And it looks like Thor's trying to figure out who Thor is. Get it? Thor's trying to... Yeah, whatever. You know what I mean. Thor, 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 Thor. How many more books do I have? A couple more. Keep on trucking. Miss Marvel. Issue 13. What can I say? Everybody's enjoying this book. I'm on and off with it. I guess just because of what it is, I don't know. It's hard for me to get into like a teenage girl story. I mean, it's good, and I understand, and I completely see how people are saying that she is, you know, like a Peter Parker type character, and that she adds that kind of fun element because it is kind of a fun book, but it's not that that great for me personally. That's all I'm saying. But I do like the art. I like what they're doing with the book. All right, one more that I picked up. Well, there's another one too. But second to last book from Valiant. I haven't picked up a Valiant book in forever. But this is Ninjak issue number one. This is like the relaunch of Ninjak. And I remember Ninjak when he came out in the 90s. And I have that book, Ninjak, with the like chromoly cover that's all like a bazillion different colors, of, like purple and green, green, and yellow, and stuff. Excuse me. So. I'm actually thinking about reading the old one first, the old number one, and then rereading, and then read this new number one, and see like if the character is anything I like at all. All right, and next, um, I picked up. I guess this is a this is Batman Detective Comics in game. I guess this is an in game special number one. I think there's only going to be one, and. Anarchy is no joke. And who is it? Brown Buchaletta? Brown Buchaletta? Buchalato? Sorry. Buchalato? Uh, so, I... Alright, so this is an in-game tie-in, right? I just picked up Batman... Well, I pick up Batman 34 through 39, so... All of in game, I think. So I need to read that first, and then I'm going to read this. So this will probably be toward the end of the weekend before I actually get to it. But, alright, so that's it. That was my haul for March 11th. Good number of books. There were a ton of other books that came out this week. Um, I'm actually going back to the comic book store on Saturday and doing a little run around with my nephew to pick up some stuff that day. So. Um, I might pick up a few more books. I might not know. Not sure yet. Definitely will pick up a Spider-Man 2099 if I'm missing one there. But let me know what you're reading this week or what I should pick up if I go back on Saturday. Yeah. What did I miss? I, I don't think I got any any image books. Huh? I didn't get any. I didn't get any image books. I got one Valiant book. Everything else was DC and Marvel. So two DC books. Is that it? Two DC books. And then a ton of Marvel books. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven Marvel books. Seven Marvel books, two DC books. And Valiant. Oh, scratching my leg. Um, yeah. So ten. Not that many. A lot of people were saying they were going to get like 20-something books this week. I don't like that many titles. Do you? How many titles do you pick up a month? Anybody out there, just let me know. Um, but thanks for watching. This one's gone kind of long. Just because I wanted to talk about a whole bunch of stuff. But be sure to check out uh, my other videos. Subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at Exhaust State. And I'll be back again soon with another video of some sort. Perhaps. One day, maybe. Thanks. Good night.